we have a question from Erica. Is it better to flip or hold in today's market? And before you answer that question, we had someone else ask just before, you know, about 10 minutes before her, uh, I'm not sure what a flip is. So can you explain flipping versus holding? And there's- <laughs> that's, a, that's a great question. You know, what's a flip? Flip to flip, what's a flip? Well, that, that's uh, where you are putting a property under contract. You may close on it, but you're going to flip that sale quickly to a new buyer. And your whole game, your whole plan is simply to make that difference between what you put it under contract for and what you sell it to a new buyer. Well, generally that means that you have left some equity, sometimes a very significant amount of equity on the table for the new buyer to enjoy. That's why whoever bought mine, flipped it. And then the next person flipped it out to their buyer because there was enough equity in that deal in that neighborhood for that particular buyer to buy. And I, I guess their numbers made sense to them, which is great. Uh, but that's what a flip is. It's the difference between what you put it under contract for and what you sell it for traditionally that there's enough equity above that for them to make money as well. And so in the, in the flip of the, is this a good time to flip or is this time a good time to hold? Well, I'm always looking at every deal with that in mind because uh, it, it's a, it's a danger that people actually tell the deal what it is instead of telling the, the or instead of letting, the deal tell you what it is. The customer, my client tells them what it is. Well, don't do that. Don't tell the deal what it is. Let the deal tell you what it is. And in my world, that means that a lot of properties that could be flipped could also be held. And holding to me is the keys to the kingdom. Now that house that I sold for $150,000, well, that's not the whole story. Uh, over the years, we collected $900 a month or whatever the number was for years and years and years and years on that property. And we only paid, I think, $60,000 for it. And then we held it for years. We received income for years and then we flipped it <laughs> for 150,000. But I would have been just as happy if somebody had come in and said, I want to buy this property on your path to home ownership plan. And, uh, and will you be the bank for me? Cause that's what we do for our clients. I would have been just as happy with that as with the flip. So what you're really saying is, is that you need to be flexible and adjust to the situations, whether the market is going up, the market is going down, whether you have this, you know, someone wants to buy it off of you in a way that you hadn't really originally planned because you've been planning on that 900 for many, many years. And if it continued on would have been great. So I think that's a really important part of it. Absolutely. Absolutely. Anytime you can hold, you're better off.